Hey traders, I'm back with a secret weapon that's about to change your trading game. Imagine a crystal ball for trading. Well, I found something very close. I'm talking about a new indicator combo on TradingView that is so fresh that it still has the smell, the shine of new indicators. And the best part, it's free. That's right. No need to break the bank for premium tools when these gems are right at your fingertips. Now, know what you're thinking. Magical indicators sounds too good to be true. But trust me, I've tested this strategy personally and it's been delivering laser-focused buy and sell signals like a boss. Whether you're into Forex crypto, futures, or stocks, this strategy can work for you. We're going to focus on Tesla chart today, but the same principles apply across different markets. Ready to dive into the setup and see how these indicators work their magic? Grab your notepads, trading ninjas, because class is in session. Alright, let's meet our first magical indicator. The ultimate buy and sell indicator by Sherlock MacGyver. It's like the Swiss army knife of indicators packed with features, but even beginners can use it like pros. This indicator is like having a personal trading GPS. It spots those prime buy and sell zones, tells you when the market's taking a breather, and even reveals those crazy buying and selling frenzies. It's got more customization options than a gear menu. But don't worry, we'll keep it simple today. Here's a pro tip for best visibility. Head to your main settings, turn off those body borders and wick colors, and switch to a dark background. It's like putting on night vision goggles for your charts. Now, the secret sauce of this indicator is the RSI. That's Relative Strength Index for those new to the game. Combined with Bollinger Bands, it's like Batman and Robin, but for trading signals. And here's where it gets exciting. This indicator drops two types of signals. It's like deciphering secret codes to unlock trading opportunities. As you can see, the indicator has produced a few signals that would have resulted in losses if we had followed them. Let's customize the indicator to improve its accuracy. We'll go into the settings and follow the steps together. Alright, let's decode those signals. First up, we have watch signals. Think of them as the indicator whispering, hey, pay attention. Something might be brewing here. These are like little spies that alert us when the price or RSI crosses certain Bollinger Band boundaries. By watch signals are dressed in orange, like those traffic cones that say, hey, potential buy zone ahead and sell watch signals. They're rocking a bright purple, like a warning sign that says, hooey, possible sell-off coming. But watch signals are just the first clue to trigger actual buy or sell signals. We usually need to see a watch signal first. It's like getting a heads up before the main event. Now, the indicator has a cool feature called a look back period for watch signals. It's like setting an expiration date on those clues. After a certain number of candles pass, they fade away, keeping our chart clean and focused on the freshest signals. Now, you can opt to paint the background green during buy states and red during sell states, but personally, I prefer a clean chart. It's like keeping my trading workspace on and focused. But here's the real secret sauce. This indicator isn't designed to fly solo. It's like having one half of a dynamic duo. That's why we're bringing in a second indicator to complete the puzzle and make sure we're getting those laser-focused signals. It's time to meet the Fibonacci Bollinger Volume Weighted Deviation Indicator by T. Karolak. Say that five times fast. This indicator is like a wizard who blends Fibonacci magic with classic Bollinger bands and sprinkles in some volume analysis for good measure. It's like getting a triple shot of trading insights. Alright, here's the key to making these two indicators dance in harmony. We'll need to tweak a few settings in the first indicator to align it with our second powerhouse. First, let's hit the reset button on this bad boy. Then we'll head over to the style type and hide these four options. They're like extra ingredients that might clash with our second indicator's flavor. So we're going to keep it simple and clean. 
Now let's get down to the nitty gritty of opening trades. We'll start with the long side. Here are the two key conditions we want to see. 1. The Fibonacci Bollinger Volume Weighted Deviation Indicator breaks above the upper band, flashing that high buying interest signal. 2. Our trusty ultimate buy and sell indicator gives us a buy signal at the same time. It's like getting a double confirmation from two expert traders. For our stop loss, we'll place it below the lower band to protect our downside. And for profit targets is 1 is to 1.5 rest to reward ratio. But here's a pro tip. When you get a minor sell alert from the ultimate indicator, close a portion of your position and move the stop loss to break even. It's like taking some profits off the table and securing your position. Remember, this is just a taste of what you can do with this strategy. Feel free to experiment and tweak the rules based on your trading style and the markets you're exploring. The key is to find what works best for you and stay disciplined in your approach. Now let's flip the script and talk about short trades. That means betting on a price drop. Our magic combo works for those too. Here are the two rules to spot a potential short setup. 1. The Fibonacci Bollinger Volume Weighted Deviation Indicator dives below the lower band like a bear breaking through a trapdoor. It signals that selling pressure is building up. 2. The Ultimate Buy and Sell Indicator, our trusty sidekick, gives us a clear sell signal. It's like getting a double thumbs down from two expert critics. If those two conditions align, it's time to unleash the inner bear and confidently sell that security. For our stop loss, we'll place it above the upper Bollinger Band to limit our losses. If the market surprises us with a sudden upswing and for profit targets, we'll aim for a fixed goal. Here's a pro tip. I recommend targeting at least twice the amount you're risking. It's like going for a double cheeseburger instead of a single more reward for your risk appetite. And just like with long trades, don't forget to secure some profits along the way. When you get a minor sell alert from the ultimate indicator, close a portion of your position. It's like pocketing some cash while you ride the downtrend. If you are hungry for even more trading strategies, be sure to watch the next video on your screen. It is filled with even more secrets to unleash your trading potential. That's it for today. Trading tribes remember, stay curious, keep learning, and always trade with discipline. The markets are waiting for you to make your mark. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching our video.